Hey Libras, welcome back to Start of the Universe Tower. We are doing your what you need to know in the next 72 hour readings. If you do not follow me on Instagram, feel free to. I go live every Sunday for week ahead readings. I also go live for the full moon uh, full moon readings. Those are always by Element, which I will be tapping in on Tuesday or Wednesday if you guys are interested. Um, by Element, like I said, um, if you're looking for Zodiac specific messages, that will be here on YouTube. So make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, especially if the um, content's relatable. If you're looking for short collective messages, I am on TikTok now, Stars Universe 777. You can find that in the description box below, as well as the Zen Goddesses website where you can purchase your own Sacral Chakra Oracle deck if you guys are interested. I will be using it as a clarification deck today. Um, and if you guys missed out on the free questions on Friday, I will be going on again Friday, August um, 19th. I will be giving out 10 full disclosure readings. And after that, you could go ahead and check the live, the last live videos that I did. There are example reads and then um, you could go ahead and check the description for how... I'm going to be conducting the readings after that. Okay. So you have the Nine of Cups, the Star card, and the Queen of Wands here, Libra. Um, under the deck, you have the Seven of Cups, the Empress, the Ace of Cups, and the King of Wands. Libra, <laughs> you have the King and the Queen of Wands here, but you have an Empress. So... Libra, that's you. That's you and your power. The Empress with the Star card here. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, but I feel like you're somebody's wish come true. But somebody is very much tied up here with the King and the Queen of Wands. There could be somebody expecting here. There could be a pregnancy. There could be a child on the way. But I feel like, meanwhile, Libra, here you are in your power. And I feel like you may have been manifesting this King of Wands but I feel like, or this King of Wands could have may have been manifesting you, even though they're um, on the side of this Queen of Wands. I feel like there's still a new relationship that may be peaking up for you. Yeah, with the, but with the King of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Ace of Swords, the Three of Pentacles. This King of Wands sees you as their happiness, and they're about to tell you that the truth about it. They want to contract you. They want success with you. They want marriage with you. I feel like somebody might be filing for a divorce. Yep, there it is with the tower card. I was waiting for it. Yeah, the tower with the lover here. Um, this person may be wrapped up in this marriage because of a false contract here. Um, the, and the truth is about to, about to come out because I feel like there's a family member who is about to spill the beans about this king of wands um, being with you. And this Queen of Wands at the same time. So, if you didn't know, Libra, that you were in a third party situation, now you know. Um, if you had any, like, type of, um, like, suspicions or your intuition was really nugging at you, Yes, there is a third party. Um, I feel like, though, also, there, there's a separation. This king and this queen of wands. I feel like this queen of wands is very much interested in an elsewhere as well. So this king and queen of wands could be together, like, strictly for reputation or strictly for, for looks or whatever. Because... This King of Wands is very much smitten by you, Libra, and this Queen of Wands is investing in a new relationship somewhere else, possibly with the water sign, possibly with an Aquarius, because you have the star next to the Queen of Wands. It could be that this Queen of Wands could have left this marriage and is actually in a same-sex marriage, or there is like some kind of same-sex shit going on in the background. This King and Queen of Wands could be together because this person is gay and their family is trying to they're trying to hide it from their family libra this is very complicated um yeah I, but i feel like somebody is definitely together together for simply status and just for reputation here um and it's this king and queen of wands there's a there's a very distinct relationship here 
but it's a, it's it's very false it's a facade but to the world this is the unit meanwhile here you're the magical one you're the wish fulfillment here and they don't even like they may have choices everybody got choices i choose to give money i said to this bread this person doesn't care about nobody but you with the star card and the and the empress you're the only thing that they see you're the only person that they wish to uh, wish to be with and it's like they're only happy when they're with you if there is no connection if there's no talking if there's no um i feel like you've tried to leave you tried to leave this situation before you tried to leave this person you don't want to be entertaining the third party. For those of you that know that you're entertaining a third party, you've tried to leave multiple times. This person doesn't let you. No. No, he wants to and he wants the reputation too. But the thing is that I think uh, somebody is coming to a realization here, especially with the tower card that peaked out, um, that they can't have their cake and eat it too. You're not going to allow that. And let's see what's on top of the deck. Yeah, because you 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 value yourself. You'd rather be single than juggled. And that's good. Like this person has to offer you the solid commitment or you're not going to you're not going to keep fucking with them. You're just not. You have every right to block them here because you are, are allowed to manifest your own wish fulfillment. And leave this person in this third party situation where he's um he or she is covering up this same-sex marriage that's going on in the background. This same-sex fuckery that's going on in the background. I, I was like, I'm not saying that you're not supposed to be with, you know... Love is love. You love somebody, whether it's the same gender or not, that's fine. But we're in an age where you do not need to marry somebody to... And, and have, have this fallacy outside of the relationship. Like, there is cause for divorce now. Like, that's the... Like, God sees everything. Like, why would you even do that? Why would you even contract yourself in such a way? Like, that's just causing... That's just causing negative energy to bind itself to you and the marriage. Eventually, with Saturn in retrograde and then the... the the south node in scorpio right now this is all going to blow up your in your face if you don't end this relationship right now and everybody is going to look bad both of you will look bad for allowing this to in in both families so if you're trying to save face and think that you're saving your reputation by allowing you guys to continue this facade trying to hide from your families that's a negative this is going to end up very badly the seven of cups again yeah you guys expect to hide that you guys are not happy and eventually everything comes to light eventually everything comes to light and self-love yeah if you want to practice self-love here libra allow yourself to remove yourself from the situation you're already the empress you're already bad by all by yourself you don't need this new relationship allow yourself to i feel and like i said i feel like this person is pregnant here and this is what's really going to be the icing of the cake because this queen of wands is pregnant by by a water sign they're not even pregnant by the by this king of cups that's so smitten by you let that tower fall let that tower fall it has nothing to do with you remove yourself from the situation because then this person is going to fall into this victim mentality libra and they're going to feel like they need you to fix their broken heart because of the the person that they wanted to keep entertained even though they were in love with you and that's not fair uh-huh yeah through journeying within you will gain energy insight and freedom from the constraints of what has been allow that which needs to end to do so you shall realize that you are not being denied but released there is something new on the horizon for you honor your losses but keep hope in your heart for what is meant to be i'm not denying this king of wands love for you libra it's there it's very much there but i think that you need to love yourself more and remove yourself from the situation before you get hurt 
Alright. That's what I have for you, Libra, and I hope this helps. Bye.